Hello, Bass family, and welcome to Everything Bass with Dale Titus. Uh, today, we're going to carry on with our triad series, and we're going to do the augmented triad. Um, the augmented triad is a unique little beast. Um, it's uh, not seen in certain music genres very much, but it's a good triad to know, especially if you really want to get into jazz, fusion playing, uh, classical music. Um, it's, it's a very rich, harmonically dense triad, and I'll explain why. Let's look at its construction. So if we're playing off the tonic C, it has a major third, so it belongs to the major family, but there's a big difference between it and the major triad. If you remember, the major triad was root, major third, perfect fifth. The augmented triad moves the perfect fifth up a fret, which becomes augmented fifth. So it's root, major third, augmented fifth, and the octave. Which is really a cool sound. Now, some people like to play it root with the ring finger, middle finger plays the major third, index now moves the augmented fifth onto the G string, and then slide up for the octave. That's up to you, whichever method is best for you, you know, that feels comfortable. Or honestly, to be the best bass player you could be, just practice both fingerings. Um, and it's, as with the case with major triad, minor triad, diminished triad, you can move it all over the bass. If I go to the G on the third fret of the E string, I can play root, major third, augmented fifth, and the octave. Here's a D. There's an A. So I'm moving around getting familiar with how it sounds. I, I've mentioned this before, but it bears repeating. Um, when you're practicing scales, arpeggios, intervals, chords, anything like that, it's very, very important to have your amp on. Um, I, uh, I went through a season in my life where I loved practicing in front of the TV unplugged. My technique got okay. Um, it was a little sloppy because I wasn't hearing all the, the artifacts I was creating with some of my bad technique. But I didn't, wasn't, wasn't trained in my ear. I couldn't identify certain things by ear. Um, ear training is not some mystical quality that only a few people can have. Um, ear training is available to anyone who just listens and, and actively listens. So when you're practicing scales and arpeggios, have your amp on or have headphones on and really listen to the quality, especially like listen to, to this. I mean, augmented is very rich. If I play it as a chord, there's so much going on there. It's, it's cool. It's a very cool chord. Uh, you know, Albeit you probably won't play it a lot, but you will see it out there. Um, there's a couple different notations I've seen on sheet music for this. Um, sometimes it'll be AUG, A-U-G. So if you have, uh, let's say F sharp is our uh, root. F sharp, A-U-G, if you see that written, that's an F sharp augmented triad. Uh, I also see a plus symbol. Um, a lot of times in real books, I, I don't see AUG, I see plus symbols. So you would see like F sharp and then plus, and that means AUG, and what they're augmented. What they are uh, referring to is that we are sharpening the five. We're moving it up one fret. So the plus is like, that's how I always remembered it. It's, it's, it's augmenting, adding that, um, that or moving that perfect fifth up to an augmented fifth. And that's why uh, they use the plus symbol. I'm guessing. I don't know. Just memorize it. All right. So augmented triad. We have four triads now. Major, minor, diminished, augmented. Practice them together. Practice them on the same day. Uh, pick a different route every day, run through them each, uh, and then you'll start to see what like similarities are. Like we talked about with diminished, the minor triad and the diminished triad, the only difference is the fifth. On diminished, the fifth is diminished to fifth. On the minor, it's a perfect fifth. We have a similar situation with major triad and augmented triad. Major triad has a perfect fifth. The augmented triad has an augmented fifth. So these things, by practicing together, you start to see the relationship, see what's different, see what's the same, and it helps you remember them. So, augmented triad. We've now got that one under our belts. So, uh, already you become a better bass player. So now you know the notes that are being played when someone plays an augmented chord. And that's really valuable to um, how you're going to create bass lines. Um, today's encore item is Fingerboard Harmony for Bass by Gary Willis. Uh, Gary taught a course at MI called Fingerboard Harmony. I was a student of it, and then I later had to be able to counsel people with it, so I was able to take private lessons with Gary. Um, and man, life-changing. I say that a lot, but that's how important studying with some of these guys has been um, for me. It has changed my life. So um, what's really cool about what Gary did for this is the examples are written for four-string, five-string, and six-string um, basses. Uh, they're very clear. 
and it gives you ideas um, for a different way to approach. Like he says, a linear approach for five, four, five, and six string bass includes a CD featuring 99 examples and excess, uh, exercises. 99. Um, so what I would do if, if you get this book is don't expect to sit down and, and play. In fact, don't set out to sit down and play it right away front to back. I would pick a day, um, take a page a day. Like let's look at the first intervals page. You can actually like watch my video on the uh, series on the intervals and understanding intervals and then read this and do the exercises here, but don't move on until you really understand that. Um, if you guys wonder why I do so many books as my encore items, um, that's one of the things I actually I like to collect. I love collecting method books, um, harmony and theory books, anything about music uh, teaching, I love to collect because every time I read through them, I, f I find something new. Maybe it's how to present the information better. Maybe uh, it's filling in a blank that I didn't understand I had and really reinforcing my foundation of my playing. So uh, that's why I have so many books and that's why books are so important to me. Uh, this is available everywhere. I got this off of Amazon.com, but anyone that sells Hal Leonard, uh, you can go to your local music store, which is great. Most people don't understand this or realize this, but music stores will always special order, um, I believe they'll always, they always have for me, special order stuff. If they carry um, Hal, Hal Leonard publishing materials, you can just ask them to order it and they get stuff pretty quick. Um, so, especially if you're having a hard time, like maybe your apartment complex, it's not easy to get packages delivered and sometimes they're left at your door. I would think it's much safer just to order it from the music store. It's the same price. So order at the music store and, uh, and give them the business. Okay, so there we go. Augmented Triad and Fingerboard Harmony for Bass by Gary Willis. Um, that is today's unit. I really am, you know, am thankful that you guys are uh, checking out the videos and coming back to the videos and going through this journey with me. Um, I have learned a lot from your comments, so I do encourage you to comment. Ask questions about Augmented Triad. Uh, ask questions about anything. Um, you can also directly email me at dtitus at daletitus.com. Uh, what would really help grow this channel is if you would please hit the like button at the bottom and then uh, the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber to the channel and the bell icon so that you'll be notified every time I post videos. That would be great. That's a great way to support um, everything base and grow this community. I have great visions for where I want it to be, but I do need it to grow. So I thank you for your participation in that. You also can go to patreon.com forward slash Everything Bass, capital E, capital B. If you want to become a monthly subscriber and get access to any of the written music, uh, any of the support materials. My idea was that you could print these out, uh, punch holes in them, put them in a binder, and then at the end, of, uh, well, hopefully there's no end, but you'll actually grow this massive tome of, of uh, method material that you can go through and review and practice uh, at your own uh, time. So anyway, I thank you so much for being involved with Everything Bass because it's not Everything Bass without bassists. And uh, I really love talking with bassists. Um, I will let you know anytime I'm doing clinics in any area. If you guys want to come by, I'd love to meet you in person. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and I will see you at the next video.